Alright, right heel and left. Bicep curl, get those biceps warmed up. Let's take that right heel to the floor. Support yourself above that left knee. Switch your hips back, lay the leg, pull the toes back. Feel a little stretch in the back of the leg. Put it flat to the floor, squat it down. Alright, we're gonna tap that foot. Here we go. Get out. And hold your toes in. Straighten it out. Step back. Let's take that left heel floor. Make sure you switch your hand position at the part of the right thigh. Push your hips back with the leg. Pull your toes back. Go back to the floor. Squat down to spin. Tap your foot. Tap in and out. And hold your toes in. And bring it back, step back, roll it under the back of the neck. Alright, let's just get a little rotation real quick. Woo! Okay, now grab a sip of water and we're gonna get right into cardio. Watch it. 
This is a good one because it's low impact, but it's higher intensity. Two more. And march it out. Woo! Okay. We're going to do a little um, hop. You can either just do a step touch or hop it or add a leg back. So just whatever variety you want to do. Get ready to go. We'll give you a 15 second break. You're breathing in deep. All right, here we go. So you can be here, you can be here, here, here. Just get into your groove. Hold it. Your last one and march it out. All right, what you I'm going to show you a couple more intervals that we're going to do. You can do that with or without your weight. Okay, we'll be using light weights if you're interested. We'll do kick and overhead press and then knees and squeeze. We'll do rocking horses, okay, with the weights if you want. Oh, excuse me, that's not rocking horses, it's hamstring. All right, so knee up, hamstring back, rocking horse. And then, um, and then we're gonna do squat down, knee up. Okay, so with or without weights, you go ahead and decide. And you can do some of them with weights and some of them without. Quick sip of water. Squat and pick those weights up. Don't forget that. Okay, if you're picking them up. <laughs> okay, it's Monday morning, y'all. All right, so we're going to kick it overhead, press, and knees and squeeze. Kick overhead. Use those ab muscles. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. You can go slower than me if you want to. Then knees and squeeze. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, kick it overhead, press, wait. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, the knees and squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, kick it overhead. Knees squeeze. Kick. Knees, you're alternating. Kick and knee. Kick. Knee. Let's try eight more. You're done with this one. Kick. Knee. Kick. This is your brain exercise. And relax. All right. Let those weights hang to your chest. All right, let's slow it down just a tad more for the next one. Okay. Now, rocking horse. We're going to bring that right knee up, left hamstring back. Here it is from the side. Okay. Get ready to go. We're going with that right knee up, left hamstring back. Here we go. Now control those arms, get your bicep and then your tricep. Really working the core, everything here. Working everything with your ears. And relax. All right, shake it all out. All right, we're going to the left side now. Let's get that left knee up and right hand string back. Let me get on the music. It helps me count. All right, you ready? Left knee. Left knee up. Right hand string back. So biceps. Biceps. Control the arm. Your last one. All right, shake those legs out really, really good. Okay. 
weight on your shoulders if you want to. Squat it down, lift that right knee. Squat it down, you can stay on the right knee. Give me four more on the right. Four. Three. Keep those knees behind your chest as you squat. All right, let's go to the side. Hey, this can be an option. Just tapping that toe instead of lifting the knee. All right, switch legs. Let's go to that right leg for four. Four. Three, two, and switch your leg to the left leg. Left knee lift. Yeah, switch to the right leg. Two on the right. Two on the left. Now alternate right and left. Right leg, left leg. Keep going right and left. Four to go. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, shake those legs out really good. Lift your knees. Squat with these leg weights down. Get water. Okay, we're going to go on to bar now. So I want you to pull your chair in. I must let this music down just a tad. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. Okay. So pull that chair in. Okay, so we're going to start out standing here, left hand on your chair, we're going to lift that right leg out to the side, keep your left knee slightly bent, shoulders back and down, here we go, lift, lift, lift it the leg as high as it's comfortable for you. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now lift up, hold it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Last. All right. You shake this like that real good. Now lift your knees. Okay, turn face the chair, and we're going to do that same leg, the right leg, and lift it straight out to the back. All right, get that left foot right underneath your hip, keep that left knee slightly bent, shoulders back and down, and lift that leg. Lift, you can lean into your chair just a little bit. Really squeeze your those glute muscles and keep your abdominals tight. Give me eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now lift up, hold it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now it's time for left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. All right, lift your knees. Shake those legs up really good. All right, we're going to turn and um, do some calf, uh, calf raises now. So being about hip width apart, make sure your toes are parallel. Let's start with singles. Take it up and down. Keep those shoulders back and down, abs tight. Eight. 
Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now lift up. Hold it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Squeeze those calf muscles. Take it down for two. Down. Down. Up. And up. And down. And down. Keep those bad muscles as tight as you can. Down. Down. Up. Up. Down. Down. Up. And up. Two more. Now three down. Take it three, two, one. Bring it up quick. Down, two, three. Bring it up quick. Down, two, three. Bring it up quick. Down, two, three. Up quick. Now take it down quick and up. Two, three. Down quick. Up. Two, three. Down quick. Up. Two, three. Down quick. Up. Two. Now single it out again. Down. Up. Down. Up. Oh my goodness. Start to feel that curve down the back of the leg. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up to the top. Now pulses. Little easy pulses here. Should be burning. All right, double time right here. Finish it up. Double, 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 double. Quick, 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 quick. And relax. Oh, I hope you're burning like I am. Put those knees up and shake your legs out really good. We're going to turn this chair around and get on with the other side. Put your right foot right underneath your hip and lift. Up and down. Shoulders are back and down. Your abs are nice and tight. Your right knee is slightly bent. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now look up, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. All right, lift those knees. Shake your legs out. Are right, we going to turn toward the chair? Right leg, I mean, um, we're going with the left leg lifting. So right foot right underneath your hip. Take that left, uh, left leg back. Hang with me. I'm going to get it right. All right, that's nice and tight. We're going to lift that leg. Here we go. Lift up and down. Uh, make sure your hips are square, pointing straight ahead. Don't turn. You wouldn't want to turn your body out to the front. So facing the chair. That would be eight more. Eight. Really squeeze those leg muscles. Make these last six really good. Five, four, three, two, one. Now lift up, hold it. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Lift your knees. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? No, we did. Okay. Lift those knees. Shake those legs out really good. Okay, let's see what else we're going to do. All right, we're going to work on the inner thigh next. Okay. All right, so you're here. We're going to start with that right leg. And take it across. So lift, sweep it across, sweep it across. Keeping that left knee slightly bent, really working. You want to feel it right here. As you take it back and do a little outer thigh work. All right, now this time I want you to sweep it across and hold it right there. Hold it, squeezing the inner thigh muscles right there. Shoulders back and down. Now we're going to do little tiny lifts. Lift, 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 lift. Feel your core working, feel your inner thighs working. Oh, yes. Yeah. Nice. And 
Relax it. Shake those legs out. It should be tight here for the inner five muscles. Look the knee. Taking it out. All right, put that right foot right underneath your hip. Shoulders back and down. Abs nice and tight. Get ready to sweep that left leg across. And here we go. Squeeze. 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 And fight. Work those on the double muscles. Right here, get those legs released as you sweep it across. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Now sweep it across. Hold it. All right. Get ready for those little teeny tiny ones and little left. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Don't go anywhere. We've got eight more little baby ones. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. And relax it. All right, lift those knees. Shake your legs out really, really good. Okay, I think we're done with um, our bar segment today. But so take your chair, push it out of your way. All right, we're going to grab a little bit of water, and then we're going into some strength training. And upper body strength is so important. Debbie Bajinski will tell you that she's been using her upper body to do things since she broke her ankle. Okay, let's see what we're going to start with today. All right, grab your heavy weights. Turn toward your weight, pick them up, squat down, pick them up. I right, feel about hips apart, roll their shoulders back and down, take it up, two, three, and four, and down, two, three, straighten those arms all the way out, keep your abs really tight. Down, two, three, split it in half, two up. Straighten those arms, all those all the way out. You can keep a slight bend in the elbow, but you want it all those straight as you go down. Three up, take it three, two, one, ease it all the way out. Oh, I feel so good. I was so cold earlier, now I feel nice and hot and sweaty. <laughs> Woo, yay. All right, let's take it up quick to the top, all the way to the shoulders. Three, two, one. All the way to the shoulders. All the way down, three, two, one, bring it up halfway. Halfway up, all the way down. Nice and slow, control. Give me one more. Now bring it up halfway, hold it right there. Move those feet around. All right, back to your position, feet about hips apart. Hold it in here. We're going to go into our top half. Abs tight, knees up, and top half. All the way to shoulders, halfway down. Bring it down halfway. Hold it. Beat your drum. And give me that little bicycle. Oh my goodness, it's starting to get tough. All right, go the other way. All right, bring it back here and hope to take it out. In, out. Now give me a little tiny squeeze with those shoulder blades. Take those weights out. Your bicep should be burning in a big way. Now take it out and hold it. All right, opposite arm, and then let those weights hang. Wow, let it hang chin on your chest. Lengthen out those biceps. All right, now I want you to take one of your weights and put it down like this, and then take your other weight and put it on the right side. All right, now we're gonna grab the light weight. 
turn toward them, squat, pick them up, and put one on either side. Alright, shake the hips, arms out real good. I'm making my weight stack just a bit so y'all can see everything. Okay, so this is an option. You can take your left foot and put it on your on top of your weight. And just that's just loading up your opposite leg a little bit more so you get a little more weight uh, uh, work on that leg. We're gonna reach out and touch our grab our heavy weight this first part. All right, now try to get your feet about parallel, about hip width as far as parallel. All right, so you don't want your leg way back here, okay? Because that's not loading up your leg, right? Okay. All right, now support yourself up toward the left side. We're gonna lean down and lift that weight. Lift it up so you're chipping in the hip, and by doing so, you're working your lower back. Now, as you pull that elbow toward the ceiling, squeeze through your shoulder blade. You're also squeezing through the back of the arm. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six. Oh, I see sunshine. We need some sunshine. It's a bloody day's lesson. Lift it up, hold it, hold it, hold it towards the ceiling, elbow to the ceiling, hold it, hold it. Now give me a little baby pulses here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it hang. Squat them down. Stand up. All right, shake those arms out really good. Let's get rotation. All right, now we're gonna squat, pick up that lighter weight. We're gonna be doing tricep kickback, elbows locked to your rib cage. Weight goes from your shoulder, extending back, squeezing right there. Don't move that elbow around too much because you don't want to be swinging your arm. That's not the motion. Elbow here, squeeze. Okay, and at the end, you know it will turn, get a little rotation with that palm. Great for your wrists. All right. Support yourself, left hand on the upper part of the left side. Weight to your shoulder. Take it back for two. Extend, extend, back, shoulder. Tricep kickbacks. Back, back, and to the shoulder. Extend, extend. Now let's single it out. Take it back, shoulder. Back, shoulder. Extend, shoulder, extend, shoulder. Now let's add that rotation. Extend, rotate, back, shoulder. Extend, rotate, back, shoulder. Extend, rotate, back, shoulder. Extend, rotate, back. Give me four more of these. Extend, rotate, back, shoulder. Really getting those triceps here. Back that rotation, you're getting your forearm and your wrist as well. All right, on this one, we're gonna take it back and rotate the palm to the back wall and just hold it. You got this, you can do it. Challenge yourself just a little bit. Put the arm about six inches, hold it. You have just engaged your triceps and your shoulder blade in a big way. All right, give me a little bit of lift and you're finished with this arm. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And let it hang. And then squat, put it down. Woo! Oh yeah, shake it all out. Let's get some rotation. Okay, we're going to the other side. So I want you to reach down, grab that heavy weight with your left hand. All right, let's put our right foot on this weight this time, if you're doing that. And then we're gonna get those feet so they're about parallel with each other. All right, right hand off the part of the thigh. Reach down, we're gonna let that um, weight hang in that left arm. Get ready to pull the elbow to the ceiling. And pull, pull. Squeeze the shoulder blade in the back of the arm as you lift. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift up, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now 
Five, four, three, two. You're gonna do this little baby one. Lift, 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 lift. Eight more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let that weight just hang for a moment. Not quite put it down. All right, step back, shake it all out. Rotation. I'm going to give you this little break in between. Okay, back at it. We're going to grab that lighter weight. Just bust it up. <clears throat> right foot's on your waist. Toes parallel. Supporting yourself. Take it back. Back. So two back, two up. Keep that elbow locked into your hip cage. Just moving the lower part of the arm. And squeeze into the back of the arm as you extend. Now, single it out. Eight, seven, six, squeeze to the back of the arm. Four, three, two, one. Now rotate it, take it back, rotate it back to the shoulder. Extend, rotate back to the shoulder. Extend, rotate back to the shoulder. Extend. Rotate back to four more of these. Extend, rotate back, shoulder. Two more. This is your last one. All right, now take it back and rotate and hold. Palm to the back wall and hold in that position. You're almost there. Hang in there. All right, lift the arm about six inches. Hold it. All right, little baby pulses here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let those quick chain and squat them down. All right, shake it all out. Let's get a little rotation. All right, just slide this hands halfway down your thighs, slide back. Round it up, let your chin be just folded. And flat neutral, and round it all the way up. All right, squat down and grab those heavy weights. All right, feet about hip width apart, rolling those shoulders back and down. Nice, proud posture here. Weights are in front, and we're going to rotate around. So just squeeze those shoulder blades as you pull those weights around back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, put those weights on your shoulders. Take your legs out wider. Your knees and toes are pointed front. Take it down for two. In your squat, sumo squat. So you can go down low or you can keep it up shallow like this. All right, your choice. Down, down, up, three down. Three, two, one, bring it up. Down, two, three, bring it up. Now keep those knees behind your toes. Your knees are bending, but they're not moving forward. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, up. Down, two, three, up. Down, two, three. Take it down quick. All the way down. Up, two, three. All the way down. Up, two, three. All right, down to the bottom, hold. Hold it, hold it. All right, up halfway. Halfway up, all the way down. Halfway, all the way. Halfway, all the way. Halfway, three, four, four. Four, three, two, one down to the bottom. Now swing your hips side to side. Oh, really? 
get into those plates. And bring it back, stir and finish with pulses. This is it, make it good. And relax, all right, bring it up. Woo! All right, lift those knees. We're gonna take these weights and put them out of our way. Just a little bit, not not way back, but just a little bit so that your abs 
so contracted and engaged, and give me little circles with your arms. And go the other way. Work at arms, shoulders, and core. Now bring those fists in and out. Stretch those fingers out as you come in. All right, now we're going to bring those weights, those arms in front, and those little, little circles. If your lower back starts hurting, sit up. Listen to your body. All right, go the other way. We're working the lower back, core, arms, and shoulders. Now bring those fists into the chest. In, out. Stretch your fingers out as you extend out. Last one. All right, sit up and wrap those arms underneath your legs. Wow, I felt my lower back in a big way. All right, squeeze tight. All right, now we're going to come down very slowly to the floor. Try to control it all the way down. Okay. Get comfortable on your back, hands behind your head, elbows out to the side. We're going to put our toes on the floor, shoulders up, and we're going to roll those hips up off the floor. Tap your toes. Now it's all about control. We don't want a bunch of momentum going here. We want to make the abs do the work and lift your hips up off the floor. Elbows out to the side, chin stays off your chest, really lift those hips up. Take those 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And relax it. All right. Woo! Take a couple seconds break here. Okay, let's take those legs up to the ceiling. Hands behind your head, elbows out to the side, chin off your chest. Put an elbow right on the ceiling. If you can, lift your hips up, slightly up on the floor. Almost done. I see it's 11.25. All right, give me a little crisscross. Hips slightly up off the board. You can do it. Okay. All right. Bring your hands up, out, and in. Crisscrossing legs and arms. Shoulders up off the board. You can. And your last day, and then we're done. We're gonna stretch. And relax. All right, yay. Okay, let's take those legs out long. Get a couple of ones back. Arms up over your head. Reach with your fingers, reach with your toes. Make your body as long as you can. Reach up with the right hand, point your right toe, stretch the right oblique. Now reach up with the left hand, point the left toe, stretch the left oblique. And then just relax. Close your eyes, breathe in deeply in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, I really want you to relax and enjoy this. Woo! Hard to believe Christmas is Friday. Pull those knees into your chest and we're going to hug under the legs. Give it a good squeeze into your chest, stretching through those glute muscles. Breathing in deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, let's take that left leg out long, leaving that right knee in, rotate your right foot in a circle. Go the other way. All right, let's take that right leg across your body with your left hand, just gently press that leg towards the floor. Take your right arm out to the side, if this is comfortable for you, and press that right shoulder into the floor. Turn your head toward your arm. All right, we're gonna come back to center, get comfortable on your back. Right leg is out long, bring that left knee in and rotate your left foot in a circle. Go the other way. All right, let's take that left leg across your body with your right knee and just gently press the leg towards the floor. And then if it's comfortable, take the left arm out to the side, press the left shoulder into the floor. Turn your head toward your arm. All right, bring it back to center. Let's get comfortable on your back. Left foot's flat on the floor. Extend the right leg up to the ceiling. Grab your leg wherever you want to and press that right heel toward the ceiling. I want you to feel this down the back of the leg. Now straighten your right knee out just a little bit more and then pull the leg a little bit closer. This is really going to make you feel this. Push that heel toward the ceiling. Bring your right ankle below the left knee. Take your right hand, press that right leg away from you to feel that stretch in the right hip. Jesus, Lord, now pull your left knee into your chest. Feel this through the right side of the glute muscles. 
Pull it in a little closer. Put that left foot flat on the floor, right foot flat, get comfortable on your back. Left heel up to the ceiling, push that heel higher than your toes, grab your leg wherever, and just gently pull it toward your chest. Now straighten that left knee out just a little bit more and pull the leg a little bit closer to your chest. Now bring your left ankle below the right knee and then take that left hand and press the left leg away from you to go through the left hip. Now pull that right knee into your chest. Feel this through the left glute muscles. And pull it in a little closer. All right, release it. Grab your hamstrings, roll all the way up. Let's take the soles of your feet together and press your knees towards the floor. And keep it right here or lean over if you want a little more intensity to the stretch. All right, let's come out of that, cross the ankles. Take a big deep breath in. And then as you exhale, just lean over your legs, come down as low as it's comfortable for you. Now let's take those arms over your right knee and then take your left arm and just press it out there a little farther to feel that through the left hip leaves. Bring it center. And then let's go over that left knee and press your right arm out just a little bit farther. Bring it back center. Sit up nice and tall, hands beside your hips. Drop your chin to your chest, stretch the back of your neck. Now bring your right ear toward your right shoulder. Just let that right arm hang. Press your left palm into the floor. Bring your chin to your chest. Now left ear to the left shoulder. Press that right palm into the floor. And bring your chin to your chest. Now right hand above the left knee. Press your left shoulder back and look down that shoulder. Switch it up, left hand above the right knee, press your right shoulder back, look down the shoulder. And bring it back center, interlace your fingers, stretch your arms out in front of you, round your back. And then put the hands on the lower part of your back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, this opens your chest. And let's take that right palm to the ceiling, gently pull the fingertips back to stretch the forearm and biceps. Bring that arm up and gently pull the elbow back. If it it's more comfortable, do the stretch from here. Switch your elbows, gently pull that um, left elbow back. Bring your left palm to the ceiling, gently pull the fingertips back, stretching the forearm and biceps. All right, I want you to drop this right shoulder and then pull that arm across your chest. So take your left hand and just pull that arm towards you. Stretch it through the shoulder. Then drop that left shoulder, bring the arm across, and then grab it. Pull it towards your chest. All right, we're going to step forward. Come into a little crouch position. Now roll back onto the balls of your feet. Press your heels towards the floor. Get this good foot stretch into the ankles, calf muscles. And then keeping your hands on the floor, start straightening out your knees. And release it, roll it on up through the back, through the shoulders. Step it out to the side. Give me a big deep breath in to finish it up. And exhale it. Woo! And we're done, y'all. Awesome job. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it.